MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day sold. So enjoy and thanks for watching. Mustang Medic is brought to you in high definition. MustangMedic.com. Nineteen sixty nine Mustang Coop F Code Project. Okay, I'm under the sixty nine and we are now dropping the springs, so here we go. So after you've taken off the shackles, um, or the U clamps, I'm gonna call them U clamps at the moment in this video. Once you've taken those off, you cleared the plate and you've got the shock absorber um, off. Then all you have is the front end, which we will see what we've got up there. Hopefully it's not rusted. Uh, we will see. Kind of dark down there. Sorry, guys. Is that better? There you go. So you got that, that bolt up there, which we all know about from the 66. Oh, what fun. We'll find out if we're going to have the same amount of fun on this one. And then you go and take this bolt off of this clasp. And this actually... This shackle looks pretty good. I was going to get new shackles for um, Joe's uh, 69, but it looks pretty good. So we're going to see if we got good rubber. And if we do, then I guess I have some spare parts. And we're just changing out the springs on this. So we'll see. Here we go. That blue tape that's holding on that license plate. This? Yep, take that off. Be a Mustang medic. This tape was tied on so the license plate doesn't shake. We're going to fix it so the license plate looks good and doesn't have that tape on there. Sarah's taking care of it. She's taking that off for us. Good work, Sarah. You got it. Nice job, Sarah. MustangMedic.com Very nice. Alright, so this one, this one over in this area is a bit challenging because it's uh, between the exhaust pipe and the leaf spring so it's really tight sorry for the tight video here mm -hmm. let me see if I got it here there you go so I've got my uh, ratchet wrench in there and I'm getting the other bolt off of the other shackle so we can remove it and drop the springs taking off the shackle plate There she is, there's one. And what has to happen now is I have to pry out this piece. So what you're gonna see, if all goes well, is the leaf spring coming down here. This is actually the simple, relatively simple part of leaf spring removal. Tell me to hop in. Oh yeah. boy. It's pretty stuck. She's stuck into the rubber really bad. We'll get it. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm stuck. This is a new challenge with this 69. You never know what you're gonna get with restoration. But the, uh, the shackles, the back shackles actually don't wanna come off. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that's not gonna be a sign of what's in the front of us on this. But I'm working real hard to pry it off and see if I can get it to, to disconnect. Man, oh man. Oh, she's stuck. Oh, we'll get her. We'll get her. Shouldn't cross. I can need a crowbar. I need a bigger crowbar. Yeah. All right, so we got the, the back one out that's attached to the, the subframe or the frame, but
but it's stuck on the top and we got to clear it so we've got to separate this sh bottom shackle from here and it is just a bugger it does not want to let go but we're going to get it we actually didn't change out the leaf springs on the 69 we worked on so uh this one is a is coming out now so we're working on it but uh the rubber can really seal onto those two shackle bolts and the shackle is kind of a u-shaped and it's it's just hanging on hard so we got to get her to break free we got the top to break free but unfortunately the body's stopping it from coming down so we can't get access to it so we're gonna have to try to pinch out and get this top one out so we can drop this spring we'll get it we'll get it something worth noting on this uh, 69 is it looks like the whole differential has been redone it's that's a brand new plate brand new bolts Looks like a brand new uh, universal joint on there. And look how pretty that is. That is a brand new plate on there. So I'm going to inquire to Joe about this, when he redid this, but it looks like it's a brand new differential um, on this uh, 69. Worth noting. Okay, so now I'm trying to break free this bolt and see what we got. And I'm hoping it's going to clear and allow me to take that off without having to try to get that rubber. Because that rubber is not clearing that bolt. It will not come off. So we're going after um, the big bulk guys. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Also, another thing to take note is this is a Wicked Flow. I hadn't heard of that brand, but it's a Wicked Flow muffler. And I'll tell you, this car sounds really good with these mufflers on it. It's also got brand new pipe, brand new H-pipe, all the way back to the exhaust, all welded together out to the tail end of the car. So uh, nice exhaust system. Don't have to worry about that. And again, remember guys, this car is going to be for sale shortly. Uh, great news, guys. This one on the, on the passenger side moved, so we're going to be able to get this off and drop this spring without having to cut it. So that's really good news for time for Joe and for us to get this job done. So um, that saved us at least two hours on this side by not having to cut it off. So we're going to get a punch and push the bolt all the way through and drop this spring. I want to give me, a, give me a, 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 the heavy punch, the big punch. Not the pointed one. I'll put the car for on the chair. And this is because, probably because it's a San Jose car, is why we're able to get it. It's not a Detroit, it's not a Detroit Michigan Mustang. This is a San Jose car. Again, another selling point for this car. Ain't that a beautiful thing, guys? Anybody, anybody that's followed us with the uh, 66? So here we go. It's about to drop out. I hope. We will see. I actually ordered these for this job, but now don't need them. So I got some spare parts for the next leaf spring job we do. So here we go. You ready? Yeah. Yep, I'm okay. Thanks for, thanks for carrying, Sarah. And then Where this side should. And it is. Boom. Driver's side leaf spring. Check. All right, so what I'm doing in the baking sun is taking off the other shackle. Watch out, sir. Get back. And this rubber, man, I'll tell you, it's hanging on. We got to see if it comes off in one piece. But uh, we're going to put some WD 40 in here, loosen it up, and then maybe get it off, I hope. And if we can get this rubber out intact, we'll use it. If not, we've got rubber for it. All right, so we're taking off the other shackle. Passenger side. I need that crowbar. All right. 
right, this one came, this one came out the same way. So now we're going to move down to the bottom, the front bolt, and see if that comes out like the like the passenger side did. Loosening up the bolt. So far, everything feels pretty good. These, look at this guy. See this? See this? This hanging. These needed to get replaced. Oftentimes, it's you know it's a pretty big job changing leaf springs, and uh, oftentimes it gets overlooked. But Joe's doing this right. She's changing out the radiator she, so she runs cool. He's having us do the um, the leaf springs. He also wants us to do a sway bar on the front. Going to do the whole electric fan with the uh, relay. So it's going to be a sweet ride when he puts her up for sale. And that's what we're prepping for, for sale on this 69. And again, no rust. 1969 Mustang. Just like the 69 we had as our restoration project. Now we got the 71. You guys are all aware of that. All right, here we go. I'm going to start popping this bolt out now. See what we got it. All right, going to start hitting the side of this bolt. We'll know what we got. She's moving, guys. She's moving. Both of these were not encased in rust and frozen. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking a punch and I'm carefully tapping that bolt through so I can get my hands on it on the other side. Still got to tap it more and then get it out and drop it. it looks like the kids are going to go to the park today on a Sunday. I'm not a workaholic, am I, Carlos? Mm -hmm. No? No. You don't think so? You just say that. You're just being nice to me, Carlos, all the time. <laughs> okay, okay. It's brother, brother in law's job, I guess. And what you do is you jiggle the, the leaf spring around, and it lets you get the bolt out. Oh, yeah. The bolt is out. And these crappy leaf springs are gone. Best thing to do, too, when you're doing this kind of job is make sure you put the bolts together. So when you're looking for, when you, ouch, when you grab this bolt, you got the nut. Very important. Bolt, nut, bolt, nut. Someday I'll get that right, right, guys? <laughs> All right, here it goes. Take a look. Here goes the leaf spring. She's dropping. Boom! Mm -hmm. I saw this ad for Sears, and the guy goes, boom! What, what's that? That's knowledge dropping on you. I thought it was hilarious. I told my wife, I gotta use that in videos. I think he said it better than me, but it was funny. Leaf springs, off. Now we just gotta get these shackles off, and that's what's next. In the next part, either today or tomorrow, but we have removed the leaf spring successfully, and now we're planning on putting them back on. I'm going to put a call on to Joe. I want to talk to him about painting the uh, pumpkin if he wants to do if he wants to do it, and also the uh, the drums. I suggest it, and we'll see where he wants to go with that. Uh, I know all you guys want him to buy Magnum 500s. Jury's out on that. He'll make a decision on that. Of course, if somebody buys it, they can put them on themselves. The rims uh, cost about 110 bucks a piece, so you're in for like 450 plus uh, getting it over there and getting it installed. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what you decide to do. No matter what, this is a tight, dry, clean, well handling, powerful '69 Mustang Coupe. All right, I'm gonna take this inside and uh, let's go to the park, Carlos. With okay. The kids. Thanks for watching, guys. MustangMedic.com Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com